What is going on guys, Dubs here, back with another RuneScape guide, and today we're going to be checking out the Huey Kotal. Our boy Huey just dropped with Varlamore Part 2, so let's jump right into it. The Huey Kotal is located in the northwestern section of Varlamore. He is on the top of the Dark Frost Mountain. To get there, you can either use a Calcified Moth and spawn over in Camp Torum, and go ahead and run on over. You can also use the fairy code ring AJP, teleport, and go ahead and run on over. You can also use the whistle from the Hunter's Guild, or you can take the standard Varrock Quetzal teleports and just work your way here, and just work your way all the way up to the Dark Frost Mountain. There is also a bank located at the top of the mountain, so you don't need to worry about having your inventory and gear all sorted out. You can wear whatever you want and just work your way over here. The Hoikotl can be killed either using melee, ranged, or magic, although he is weakest to crush and magic damage. I'll be showcasing melee and mage kills for that reason. For my melee setup, I'll be using the Natizna Face Guard, Amulet of Torture, Bandos Chestplate, and Tacits, as well as Primordial Boots, Ferocious Gloves, Berserker Ring Imbued, the Dual Makahaka Loodles or whatever, the Fire Cape, as well as a War Blessing. If you do happen to bring along your Dragon Hunter Lance, make sure that you have it in Crush style, as he is weakest to crush and not to stab, even though the Lance has a better stab bonus. For my inventory in the melee setup, I'll be bringing along a Stamina Pot, a Divine Super Combat Potion, four Prayer Potions, as well as an inventory full of Lobsters. For my Mage Gear, I'll be bringing along a Blood Bark Helmet, a Colt Necklace, Blood Bark Body and Legs, as well as Eternal Boots, Seer's Ring Imbued, Tormented Bracelet, a Mystic Smoke Staff, Eldenis' Ward, a War Blessing, and a God Cape Imbued. The Hoikotal is weak to Earth Magics, so if you bring along a Mystic Smoke Staff, you'll receive an additional bonus to casting on the standard spellbook in damage and accuracy. For my Magic Gear's inventory, I'll be bringing along two Stamina Potions, four Prayer Potions, an inventory full of Lobsters, and a Divine Rune Pouch for casting Earth Surge. Alright, a couple of things before we go ahead and jump on in. To enter the boss fight, all you have to do is climb over this chain over here. The Hoi Kotal can be fought with a maximum group of 20 people at a time. And if your world is full, you can just go ahead and hop worlds and try and find an open one. If you want to run it with your friends or try it in solos, all you have to do is come over here to this flagpole. And it gives you a couple of options. You can start a public friends fight, you can start a solo fight, or you can join a public friends fight. Alright, we're going to climb over the chain and start the boss fight. Alright, we're just going to wait for it to go ahead and start. And boom, here we go. So his body is stretched all throughout this mountain. You're going to want to start hitting these caverns where his body is exposed, and eventually, once they're all destroyed, he will move his tail up here that is blocking the path. He's going to spawn magic attacks on the ground, and you're going to want to dodge those. This little blue arrow falling at me is his mage attack. You're going to want to protect from mage to prevent taking damage from that. His tail is moving, so we can go ahead and run to the top of the mountain now. It's a very quick boss. It seems fast-paced, but it's just really easy, guys. So we're going to run up and start fighting Huey now. Dodge his mage attack that's on the ground. There's a ranged attack coming at us. You can tell from the green arrow. So we're going to protect from range. And just keep hitting Huey while we're up here. I don't even have piety on. How silly. Keep hitting him. And his tail spawned. So we're going to want to run at this tail in a diagonal pattern. Just like that. To avoid taking damage from that wave. Red arrow. Protect from melee. Dodge the mage attack on the ground. And go ahead and go back and just start hitting the tail green arrow coming at you. We're going to protect from range. The Huey Kotal is immune to damage while his tails are spawned. Go ahead and run through that. Oh, that was a mage attack I didn't pray against right there. But he had a blue mage attack coming in we should have prayed mage against. Green arrow coming at us. We're going to protect from range right there. Dodge the mage attacks as they spawn around the arena. Blue attack going out. So we have a mage attack. And there was the wave coming. Just kind of run diagonal at the wave. And we have our kill down. He dropped us a rune plate skirt. Let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys another kill real quick because they're so fast. Eat a lobster. Go ahead and top off your health. I only bring in lobsters because he does not hit hard, guys. If you're worried about taking damage, you could bring in 
sharks or manta rays. You could even upgrade to cerebrew, carbom bombs, however the hell you say those, and some sort of hard food. So that way you could triple combo eat um, if you're really worried about dying. But the hoikotal does not do that much damage. So the fight's starting off again. Gonna hit the body parts and protect from prayers accordingly as they come at us. Mage attack on the ground. We're gonna dodge it. Mage attack falling from the sky. So we're gonna protect from mage. The body parts are destroyed. Tail's moving. So we can run to the top of the mountain again. We're running up. We're running up. And we can start fighting Huey up here. Mage attacks on the ground. Go ahead and dodge those. Melee attack falling from the sky. Protect from melee. Tail's gonna spawn, so go ahead and run at the tail diagonally. Dodge the attack, just like that, guys. We have a mage attack falling from the sky. Protect from mage. Dodge the mage attack on the ground. Keep hitting the tail. The hoi kotal is immune to damage, so we have to take out the tail. Ranged attack falling from the sky. Protect from range. Tail is down. We can start hitting the Hoi Kotal again. Mage attack falling from the sky. Super straightforward. Really easy fight. Hoi Kotal and a wave. We're going to run diagonal through the wave. And we're good to go. And that's all there is to melee kills, guys. Super easy. I'm going to go throw on my mage gear. And we'll show you a mage fight. Alright, guys. We're all geared up. For fighting the Hoi Kotal in mage gear, just showing you again real quick what I'm wearing. Here's the inventory, nothing too crazy. Make sure you have your rune pouch, that way you can use your earth spells with you. Make sure you have it highlighted in your book so it auto casts. Let's go ahead and hop the fence and start the fight. Alright, they already have the boss in the top phase. Alright, protect from mage against that mage attack that's fallen at us. He's almost dead, so we're going to go ahead and showcase a whole nother kill to run diagonal through that all right and they have the hoi kotal down we did absolutely nothing that fight um and we're just gonna wait for the next one to start all right the hoi kotal is waking up guys go ahead and top off your health sip any of your potions of, or whatever you need to do and go ahead and start hitting the body and all these caverns getting them down to zero that way he moves his tail and we can get up to the top of the mountain dodge the mage attack on the ground Keep hitting. Melee attack falling from the sky. Protect from melee. Tail is moving. And just start maging him from a distance. Boom. Attack coming out. We got the blue one. Protect from mage. Just keep hitting him. Tail's coming. Run at the tail. And we dodge the attack. That easy, guys. Mage attack. Pray mage. Keep hitting the tail. Mage attack on the ground again. Dodge the mage attack. Keep hitting the tail. He's shooting another mage attack. Keep mage prey on. Super easy. Dodge the uh, blue gunk on the ground. That little magic attack. Melee attack falling from the sky. We're going to protect from melee. And the tail's coming out of this side now. Go ahead and dodge that. Oh, look at that. He's down. And it's that easy, that quick, guys. I'm averaging one-minute kills with the groups and masses. So, not that long of a boss at all. Go ahead and jump in and go get some kills. Now, let's take a look at uh, what you're here farming for. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what loot he drops. The big ones here is definitely going to be the Dragon Hunter Wand. The Dragon Hunter Wand is the new Dragon Bane weapon that just got added into the game. It'll increase the maximum amount of damage that you can do with your magic attacks against all dragons. It's going to be huge, though, for metal dragons like Mithril, Adamantite, and Rune. Also drops the Tome of Earth. The Tome of Earth is just like the Tome of Fire and Tome of Water, except this one will power up your Earth spells, making them even better. You'll need to fill it with soiled pages and keep it charged that way. He also drops a couple alcables. He's got the Rune Scimitar, Rune Mace, Rune Plate Skirt, and Adamant Plate Body. He's got a couple of Rune Drops. We've got Nature, Death, and Cosmic. Some Earth Runes. Nothing too crazy there. Would have been nice if he had some Blood Runes on the table. Tell you what. Uh, some low-level Seeds. Pretty nice for early level accounts and Iron Man. He's got Guam, Irit, Watermelon, Pineapple, and the new one is really nice. We've got the Huaska Seed. If I'm saying that right, those ones have been selling pretty good. 
a uh, decent little margin behind those, at least currently. On his other drop table, he also has Sunfire Splinters, Sunkissed Bones, Dragon Bones, and Cannonballs. Those are really nice drops. Also, Adamantite Ore and Raw Sharks, because why not? And for his tertiary table, he has Hard Clue Scrolls and the Pet. I've seen the pet a couple times in game now, and it is pretty sweet. Um, probably got a couple of guys standing at uh, World 320 and 330, Grand Exchange, just flashing it off, guys. So go check it out. It's pretty sweet. And that is all there is to defeating the Huey Codal guys. If you enjoyed this guide, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. We have tons of great content on our YouTube. We have other boss guides as well as Dungeons and Dragons streams and some other fun stuff. So go ahead and check that out, guys. If you want to become more of a member of the New School Gaming community, you can go ahead and join our Discord. The link will be down below in the description. And if you made it this far, thank you as always, and game on, my friends. I'll see you next time.